Welcome everyone to the video. Today we have a new guest, an interview with Dave Lee from Australia. Welcome, Dave. Hi, Stephen. Thank you for having me. Today we had just a couple of introductory uh, questions so you can get to know Dave. He's also in our Facebook group, TRT and Hormone Optimization, and he's very active there. He has a lot of knowledge to share and he helps a lot of men out. So let's just get the man a little bit better. So um, first few questions, Dave. Um, what's your age? Where do you live? What did you study and what do you do for a living? Welcome to this channel. I am Dr. Steven de Vos, the lifting dermatologist, and this is my bro science hunting partner, Danny Bossa. If you want to learn more about the most cutting edge science based information in the world of hormone optimization, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss anything. I also invite you to join my other YouTube channel, The Lifting Dermatologist. The link you can find in the description of this video. Sure. So I uh, turned 27 uh, three days ago uh, and I live in Perth, uh, Western Australia. Um, when I studied, I mean, my first course of study, I did an undergraduate degree in uh, business, actually majoring in marketing. Uh, and then following an injury I had in uh, 2016, so my early 20s, uh, I moved into studying health. So my first point of call was studying at what's called the Czech Institute. If anyone is familiar with that, that's through a guy called Paul Czech. Uh, so I completed some training through there. And then I also did a brief, uh, a brief stint uh, back doing postgraduate study at university, doing a diploma in science, uh, majoring in, in neuropsychology, specializing. Uh, and then that has evolved into me kind of going back and slowly, very slowly chipping away at a master's in biomedical science. Okay, impressive. And how and do for you a living, use that? Um, sorry? Now, how, how do you use that in your profession nowadays? Yeah, absolutely. So most of my training is uh, through the Czech Institute is regarding looking at the body as a series of systems and, and viewing that everything is interconnected and, and everything supports supports each other. Uh, that's been a big, uh, that was a big eye opener for me when I first got into this space. And I think that was a really good introduction to be able to get into it because, you know, when I saw an issue that was localized in a certain area, unless it was a result of, you know, physical trauma to that area, um, you know, I would be looking at the other systems that support that and see if there was a maybe an issue elsewhere that was resulting in the symptoms, you know, showing up um, in a different spot. So that was really, really handy. Uh, and then through the neuropsychology, I mean, the, the, the best thing that I learned from that course uh, was how to read and interpret studies properly. Um, I think a lot of people will skim the abstract They'll look at the last sentence and, and say, you know, this, this proves this. And uh, you, you go into the study, you look at the methods, you look at everything and you go, well, you know, I don't really agree with that. Um, so that's been, that's been a very powerful, uh, powerful kind of foundation for me to, to begin, you know, working in health and, and working with a lot of guys. And the biomedical science fascinates me because that's looking at, um, you know, I, I like to look in, and research a lot into you know, endocrinology. Uh, hormone optimization and, and the effect on the brain. Uh, and that to me just opens, you know, the full can of worms of, of where do I want to go? What do I want to look at? And it's just a very big open, open field. So at the moment, uh, I'm a part-time, part-time health coach. Uh, and I also work part-time for a, a not-for-profit organization uh, that teaches uh, mindful meditation uh, to teachers and parents. Um, and the big mission that we have is we've got a science-based mindfulness stress reduction approach and we want to be going into schools going into families and, and training the people who are working with the children on how to implement that into their you know day-to-day -day life or their learning curriculum which i think is a is going to be one of the big next uh next health re uh, revolutions is managing stress and the science of how meditation works in the brain okay very interesting i'm sure you can uh, tell us more about this uh, in later videos absolutely so how did you become interested in hormone optimization uh, especially? Is it like a lot of men like me and other men I know from the channel that uh, became uh, symptomatic first? Probably not at your age. Um, how did you gather your knowledge on the subject? Yeah, I mean, I, was, I actually did become uh, symptomatic. So, but I had a bit of a different, uh, a different route that took me there. I, um, 
I mean, up until you know 2016, I I had no interest interest in science or health. I mean, I was training, but my knowledge of health and and nutrition was you know if it fits your macros and you know the bro split at the gym. That was that was health for me. Um, I had no interest in science. I didn't do any science in high school. Um, you know, I was running a marketing business and I was, you know, doing digital marketing for nightclubs and supplement companies and, and personal trainers. And uh, in 2016, I, through a combination of uh, misfortune and, and stupidity, I gave myself a pretty severe injury. So I was, um, I was sick at the time from, you know, overworking myself, uh, being far too stressed, you know, psychologically with, with the pressures of running my own business and wanting to perform. Uh, and with all those things as well, I was also training for a Spartan race, which, um, you know, if anyone listening is not familiar with that is a military style obstacle course and, um, training for that. Uh, and then because I was overworked and I was tired, I ended up blacking out, uh, running hills, uh, hit my head, gave myself a concussion. Uh, and what I didn't realize was before that had happened and probably contributed to why I blacked out. I had a pretty bad case of what's called vestibular neuritis and labyrinthitis, which is basically inflammation of the balance center in the inner ear, uh, which connects to the brain. Uh, so this inflammation in, in both the, uh, the vestibular nerve and then also uh, the vestibular the vestibule cochlea, I'm never good at pronouncing that, uh, basically for about a year, to a year and a half of my life, I had constant vertigo from the situation and, you know, no doctors or medical professionals could really help me. Usually when you come down with vertigo, it, it kind of goes within a few days, a few weeks, if you're unlucky. Uh, you know, this was 18 months. Um, so I got, I got bounced from, you know, specialist to specialist and basically got told, you know, uh, I can't perform surgery. You're going to have to learn to live with it. It will go away. Uh, the body will get used to it. And, you know, when I was told that in month two or three, I thought, okay. Uh, but once it hit, you know, month 14, 15, 16, uh, I, I got a bit fed up with that. And, you know, I was looking down the barrel of um, a very debilitated life. For anyone who's never had vertigo, uh, when it lasts long term, it's basically like, uh, it's like being really drunk without any of the fun stuff. It's, um, you know, you turn your head and the world spins. It's like if, if I spun around on this chair 50 times and stood up, that was me all the time. Um, so over, over that period, I mean, what happened was I, I got to the point where um, I was at the point where I would try anything to, to feel better. And by this stage, I'd lost my muscle mass. I'd lost my, my uh, zest for life. Uh, I had to close down my business. I, I was really struggling. Um, so I, I'd already done a little bit of reading, you know, previously about, you know, natural testosterone and optimization and, and all that kind of stuff through training. So I thought I'd get my hormones checked out when I went to the doctor and everything was in the gutter. Um, testosterone was in the gutter, uh, you know, DHA, DHEA was in the gutter, cortisol was in the gutter and, you know, my, my organs weren't looking too good either. So everything had, had started to shut down, um, you know, LH, FSH was suppressed. And at the time, I didn't know what any of this meant other than, you know, I had a little low next to my testosterone and it was about half of even a third of what it was previously. So I, from doing that, I was able to actually find a doctor who was willing to prescribe testosterone in, in Perth, which is quite rare. So he gave me the old uh, 250 milligrams every fortnight, uh, not knowing any better. Um, but I, I mean, I jumped in head first because, you know, I had nothing to lose. And I thought, if this will make me feel better, if this will give me some quality of life back, I'll, I'll go for it. So jumped into that, um, did the 250 milligram shot and you know, felt amazing for a couple of days. <laughs> and in that process, I started to, I mean, I think at that time it was when Jay Campbell's first book was out. So I purchased that, read through that, listened to some of the podcasts with uh, the late Dr. Chrysler um, and all, you know, all the guys who were around back then. And started to do a bit more learning and, and, you know, kind of got my, got my testosterone dialed in. And that was the thing that plunged me into rehab. That was in terms of rehab, uh, learning how to move my body again properly. So I went through about a, a year, nine months to a year of, uh, rehabilitation, physical rehabilitation, uh, to compensate for the damage. 
And then as I felt better and better about myself and I had more energy and vitality back, I decided that I wanted to to recover 100%. I wasn't going to be happy with 80 or 90. I wanted to feel my best. So that's when I went to university, um, back to university to do my diploma in science, uh, studied through the Czech Institute uh, through a Czech practitioner physio who I met and put me onto that, that course of thinking. And that was when I got into uh, everything from peptides, genetics, stem cells, uh, autoimmune system, um, nutrition, meditation, all these different these different areas that I could investigate, which eventually got me to 100%. So once I got to 100%, everything was better. You know, I wanted to I wanted to get the most out of of what I was doing. Now that I had a second chance and everything was, you know, everything was back to normal. I wanted to be better than I was before it happened which got me into you know, the full hormonal optimization, um, everything that went with that, and then applying what I learned through my study and also my self-practice. Yeah, thanks uh, for sharing. Amazing story. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so uh, last point uh, for this video. What are your favorite topics in the world of uh, optimization and on what fields do you feel you can uh, use your expertise to help out other men? Absolutely. Uh, my real area of interest and uh, I mean, passion and specialty is the effect that our hormonal system as a whole, including testosterone, but also our other, our other hormones and how it affects the brain um, and how it results in you feeling you know, on a day-to-day -day basis. I, um, I have to be very careful with uh, terms like depression and anxiety as they're diagnosed medical conditions. Um, but my big, my big passion is how can I make guys feel their best? How now can I make them feel better? Um, and I think that while, you know, we do have androgen receptors, we have thyroid receptors, we have DHEA receptors in the brain, the main benefit that we get from these hormones is how they influence our neurotransmitters uh, and what effect they have. So my big passion is working with, working with the guys who, I have what, what are called, you know, a, a minor mood disorder. They're, they're not majorly depressed. They're not debilitatingly anxious, but they're the guys who kind of go through day to day and just, you know, they feel a bit off. They struggle a bit getting out of bed in the morning and they just don't have that lease for life. But, you know, they're not at the point where they you know want to go to a psychiatrist or a doctor. And they're kind of in this, this gray zone where they're not feeling their best, but they want to feel better. And they're the guys who I really want to work with because, you know, they're, they're looked over by the medical system and often there's just something going on in their genetics or in their hormones or in a combination of the two that we can just take a look at and, and do a very minor tweak to, to get a big result for them. So that's one thing that I'm really passionate about and my experience in, you know, what I went through personally and then also what I've studied uh, gives me a really good insight and foundation into, into using those tools and working with guys in that regard. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm sure we can learn much more from you in the near future. Okay, so I think uh, most of the viewers on the channel and the Facebook group uh, got to know you a little bit better by now. Anything yeah, yeah, you want to add? Uh, how can people reach you if they would want to come in touch with you? Yeah, absolutely. So if you want to work with me, um, whether it's, you know, if you just want some advice or if you want to do some coaching, uh, you can email me at uh, dave at advancedfundamentalhealth.com. Uh, the website is also advancedfundamentalhealth.com. And uh, the guys who I generally work with are either the guys who are feeling, feeling terrible and want to feel better quick, and I will work to find out what the root cause of their problem is so that they can go to their doctor or their provider and, and you know, not kind of play a whole bunch of guessing games and bounce around. They can really jump in and work out the problem. And the other group of guys who I like working with are the guys who are at, you know, an eight or nine out of 10, but they want to get to 10 out of 10. So whether that's fine tuning their protocol or whether that's working in areas outside of their protocol and, you know, other aspects of their life, um, they're, the, they're the guys I want to work with. The guys who, who want to feel, you know, better quick or the guys who are feeling good, but, but want to feel great. So. If you fall into either of those two categories, send me an email, send me a message on Facebook and um, yeah, we can go from there. Okay. So thank you so much, David. Talk to you next time. Beautiful. Thank you, Stephen, for having me. Thank you. Bye, mate.
Beautiful.